Did you know that the Chartres Cathedral in France was almost completely rebuilt after a fire in 1194 and yet a hidden crypt from the original structure still remains today? Let's embark on a journey through time. Back to the medieval era, to the heart of France, where the majestic Chartres Cathedral stands tall and proud. This architectural masterpiece is not just a place of worship, but also a treasure trove of history, filled with secrets waiting to be unraveled. The Chartres Cathedral tells a tale of resilience and rebirth. Imagine in the year 1194, a devastating fire engulfed the cathedral, leaving behind only ashes and despair. But like a phoenix rising from its ashes, the cathedral was rebuilt almost from scratch. However, deep within its foundations, a hidden crypt from the original structure still remains, a silent witness to the cathedral's past glory and its transformation. The cathedral is quite the architectural marvel, showcasing not one, not two, but three different architectural styles. The Romanesque, the Early Gothic and the High Gothic styles coexist harmoniously, creating an awe-inspiring spectacle that has withstood the test of time. Each style, with its unique features, contributes to the cathedral's grandeur, making it a living testament to the evolution of architectural design. In the Middle Ages, the Charter Cathedral was more than just a religious site. It was a beacon of hope and a symbol of the community's resilience. It was a place where people gathered, not only to pray but also to seek solace and unity. The cathedral's significance extends beyond its religious function. It played a crucial role in the social and cultural life of the community, influencing the course of history. Today, the Charter Cathedral stands as a testament to the ingenuity and resilience of the people in the Middle Ages. This magnificent structure with its hidden crypt and diverse architectural styles is a reflection of the past, a mirror into the soul of a bygone era. It is a reminder of the power of human spirit, the ability to rise from the ashes, to rebuild and to endure. It is a symbol of hope, a beacon of light in the face of adversity. The Chartres Cathedral stands as a testament to the ingenuity and resilience of the people in the Middle Ages. Imagine a cathedral that took six centuries to build. That's the story of the Cologne Cathedral in Germany, a tale of architectural evolution, cultural shifts and sheer human determination that spanned over multiple generations. Let's rewind to the year 1248. The foundation stone of the Cologne Cathedral was laid, marking the beginning of an ambitious project that would stretch across centuries. The cathedral's construction was a colossal task that saw periods of intense building activity punctuated by long stretches of inertia. As the centuries rolled on, the cathedral slowly began to take shape. Its design was a melting pot of different architectural styles, mirroring the changing tastes and techniques of the eras that it spanned. The initial design was heavily influenced by the French Gothic style, characterized by its pointed arches and ribbed vaults. As the years passed, the cathedral saw the incorporation of elements from the Renaissance and Baroque periods, and finally, the neo-Gothic style of the 19th century. Throughout its long construction period, the cathedral was not just a silent spectator to the changing times. It played an active role in the history of Cologne, witnessing wars, religious conflicts and social transformations. Despite the tumultuous events that unfolded around it, the cathedral stood resilient, symbolizing the city's enduring spirit. Fast forward to the year 1880. After six centuries of toil and perseverance, the Cologne Cathedral was finally completed. A testament to human resilience and architectural ingenuity, the cathedral stood tall and proud, dominating the city's skyline. But the cathedral's story didn't end there. In the modern era, it continues to play a pivotal role in Cologne's cultural and social landscape. It's not just a place of worship, but also a venue for concerts, a hub for social gatherings, and a magnet for tourists from around the world. The Cologne Cathedral, a symbol of persistence and determination, continues to dominate the Cologne skyline even today. Its towering spires and intricate facades are a reminder of the human capacity for creativity, endurance and the pursuit of ambitious dreams, no matter how long they take to realize. A cathedral with a twist, literally. The Leaning Tower of Pisa is one of the most famous cathedrals in the world, not for its size or splendor, but for its unusual tilt. Let's dive back in time to the 12th century, to the Italian city of Pisa. The city's pride, the cathedral, was under construction. The bell tower, a freestanding structure meant to be the cathedral's crowning glory, began to lean during its construction. And the reason? 
The ground beneath was too soft to support the tower's weight. Moreover, the builders didn't realize the soil was unstable until they had already laid the foundation. By then, it was too late to correct the mistake. The result was the world's most famous architectural blunder, the Leaning Tower of Pisa. Remarkably, the construction continued despite the tilt. The architects tried to compensate for the lean by building the upper floors with one side taller than the other. This design decision gave the tower its characteristic curve, adding to its charm and intrigue. Over the centuries, the tower continued to lean further, causing alarm. The tilt increased until the late 20th century, when restoration work was carried out to stabilize the structure. Engineers worked meticulously, removing soil from beneath the raised end and reducing the tilt by nearly half a degree. The tower was declared stable in 2001, for the first time in its history. The Leaning Tower of Pisa, a part of a UNESCO World Heritage Site, is not just a quirky tourist attraction, it's a testament to the ingenuity and persistence of its builders. Its very existence sparked curiosity and led to profound understanding in the field of soil mechanics. The tower also holds a significant place in the cultural history of Pisa, and it's an integral part of the city's identity. It's a symbol of resilience, standing tall against the odds, leaning but not falling. Despite its imperfections or perhaps because of them, the Leaning Tower of Pisa continues to captivate visitors from around the world. A cathedral that appears to be made of light? That's the Amiens Cathedral in France. Now imagine a marvel of medieval architecture. A cathedral designed to capture and magnify every glimmer of daylight, transforming it into a radiant spectacle. This, dear listeners, is the Amiens Cathedral. Constructed in the 13th century, the Amiens Cathedral is a testament to the ingenuity and vision of its creators. Its architectural design is truly unique, and its high nave, the tallest of its kind in France, invites an abundance of natural light to flood its interior. This cathedral doesn't just bask in the light, it seems to be made of light itself. The high nave isn't the only feature that contributes to the cathedral's luminous appearance. The cathedral's vast window space, an unusual feature for a structure of its time, allows sunlight to stream in from every angle, bathing the cathedral in a heavenly glow. This innovative use of window space was not just an architectural triumph, but an artistic one, as the sunlight illuminates the intricate stained glass windows, creating a stunning display of colors and patterns. Building the Amiens Cathedral was no small feat. It took immense skill, careful planning, and a whole lot of tenacity. The construction process was a meticulous one, each stone carefully placed, each window painstakingly crafted, the result? A cathedral that not only stands tall but shines bright, a beacon of light in the city of Amiens. Throughout its history, the cathedral has played a significant role in the life of Amiens. It has been a place of worship, a hub for community gatherings and a symbol of the city's resilience and spirit. But perhaps its most profound role has been that of a source of inspiration. The sight of the cathedral, glowing with the day's light, has stirred the hearts of many, sparking feelings of awe and reverence. The Amiens Cathedral, with its heavenly light, continues to inspire awe and wonder in its visitors. A medieval marvel, a cathedral of light, the Amiens Cathedral stands as a testament to the power of human ingenuity and the enduring allure of natural beauty. A cathedral built by the sea, for the sea. The Santa Maria del Mar in Barcelona has a rich history intertwined with the city's maritime past. In the heart of Barcelona's old city, the Santa Maria del Mar stands as a testament to the city's maritime heritage. This magnificent cathedral, built in the 14th century, was not the work of wealthy nobles or the church, but of the humble bastaixos or port workers. These laborers who hauled the stones from the nearby Montjuic quarry to the construction site poured their sweat and souls into the creation of this maritime masterpiece. The cathedral's connection to the sea is not only in its history but also in its design. The nautical theme is evident in the ship-shaped structure of the building. The vaults resembling the hull of a ship upside down and the carvings of ships and sea creatures adorning its walls. Even the stained glass windows tell tales of the sea, casting a light that mimics the play of sunlight on the water surface. The Santa Maria del Mar has weathered the storms of history surviving fires and wars. Despite the trials, it has retained its original Gothic splendor. 
making it a unique piece of Barcelona's architectural heritage. Its significance extends beyond the religious, serving as a symbol of the city's past, its connection to the sea and the collective effort of its people. In modern times, the cathedral continues to draw in locals and tourists alike, who come to marvel at its grandeur, attend concerts or simply enjoy a moment of tranquility. It has also found a place in popular culture, featuring prominently in novels and films, further cementing its status as an iconic Barcelona landmark. The Santa Maria del Mar, a symbol of Barcelona's maritime heritage, continues to be a beacon for the city's residents and visitors alike.